Welcome to Ben's Experience. In this video, I will share with you how to create a new FTP account in Hostinger. First, you need to log in to your Hostinger account. And from this welcoming page, look for the hosting section and click on this manage button next to the web hosting plan you are working on. Now from this left side menu, scroll down to files, click on it, then select FTP accounts. This is my default FTP access details. And as you can see, Hostinger recommends Smart FTP or FileZilla as the FTP client. Below that, you will see a new section called Create a new FTP account. And here you can select the directory you want to be or start to connect to uh, when you log in using this new FTP account. I recommend you to not uh, touch this direct, default directory. And here you, you can fill in your FTP username. Let's give it, for example, a name, for example, tutorial. And for the password, I will select something strong that I can also remember. As you can see, my password have a one number, one lowercase letter, using eight to 50 characters, one at least have one symbol, one uppercase letter, and only Latin letters. Click on this create button. And just like that, my FTP account has been created. Now, in order to uh, log in, I recommend you to click on this FileZilla link in order to automatically arrive to this official or this FileZilla official website. Click on this download FileZilla client. Now we are uh, installing or downloading uh, the software in, that we will use to connect to this new FTP account. Click on this green button. And just the free FileZilla is enough. So click on this download button and the download will be searching now. Now let's open the current FileZilla. I, I already have FileZilla on this laptop. Click on it. This is FileZilla software. Here we need to fill in our host name. This is it. Double click it and copy it like that. Paste it here. Make sure to not copy any space before or after your host name. As you can see, now I'm checking that no space is added. Now let's copy my bed. The host name is not, this is not the host name. This is the host name. Now let's remove this, pass the host name, make sure no, no added space is added before or after. And this is the username. I think instead of double clicking it, it is better to copy it or to select the text instead of double clicking it. Even with that, I will uh, make sure no or verify that no uh, space is added before or after and for the password I will fill in the password I've just created the uh, port information is not uh, required now click on this quick connect blue button and wait a moment as you can see to avoid seeing this uh, uh, this pop-up window just check this option, always trust the certificate in future sessions. Click on OK and wait a moment. You need to be looking here in order to uh, understand what is happening. As you can see, I was uh, successfully logged inside, automatically inside this public HTML folder. Now, if I want to be automatically logged into this blog folder, all I need to do is to add slash 
blog here in the directory then create my FTP account this way I, I will be automatically logged inside this blog folder just like that and if you want to return to the previous folder just double click this top uh, no name folder just like that let's double click this also this one I think I cannot uh, return to the uh, to the to the upper or to the to the public HTML folder because I don't have access to this way if you create your new FTP account with this directory which means slash blog you will not see or will not be able to arrive to this level of uh, folders or files or access to up, uh, to upload something to your uh, to, the, to 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 your account your hosting account or web hosting just open your uh, your computer or your uh, your system or your files on your computer and drag and drop it here make sure to not drop it inside some of these folders to not lose it just like that as you can see the up upload progress is uh, showing here and since they already this uh, file already exists a file with the same name they ask me if i want to overwrite it which means uh, they will remove the old one and upload the second version or this the this file the, uh, i can also skip it rename it resume it and other options i will go with overwrite i think this transfer will is starting now and from this uh, page i can see the failed transfers before I continue this tutorial, I would like to let you know that you can get access to my online course about hosting a website builder today for free. Inside this course, you will learn many things including how to get started with hosting a website builder, how to set up and design your website inside hosting a website builder, also how to create and manage your content, how to optimize your SEO, e-commerce and payments uh, features or settings and also how to integrate and use custom codes inside Hostinger website builder and also long tutorials like how to build a handyman website a personal training website or just a portfolio website if you want to get access to all of these courses today for free and also my other free online courses inside my university just to go to university.benzexperience.com link in the description without any further ado let's continue our tutorial that i can re-upload or the successful transfers from this window and this is how to create a new ftp account in hostinger if you still have a question leave it in the comments below and don't forget to give this video a like thank you